Hi everybody, I'm back again. And we're in this segment, we're going to make a garlic parmesan mushroom chicken bake. First we're going to pan sear it, then we're going to cook up our mushrooms, get them nice and golden brown. We're going to add the chicken back in, we're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 25 minutes, bring it back out, remove the chicken, and then we're going to add our cream sauce and make it a nice creamy thing with parmesan cheese and just going to be delicious. So with that, I'm going to start my oven and I'm going to set up to 400 degrees. So while that's preheating, we're going to start working on a chicken. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see my cutting board and get a feel for what I'm doing. I've already got the uh, chicken thighs defrosted. I had uh, purchased them and I usually buy things in bulk and so I freeze a lot of stuff and so I already have these defrosted. I've defrosted them in the refrigerator and I'm sorry about that with the sunlight coming in through that particular window but once I turn this down it won't be quite so bad. So we're going to show you what's going on here and that way you can see both my cutting board which that needs a little bit better view and then we'll move it on to the uh, skillet once we get to the skillet. So first thing I'm going to want is some butter and I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half of butter and we're going to put that in our pan. Now I'm going to get my pan turned on and I always use a splatter shield whenever I'm doing stuff like this just helps keep my cook time a little bit cleaner and uh, less problems that way. So first thing I'm going to do is get that going and then we're going to start getting our chicken ready to go and uh, we will uh, get that getting seared. Once that's all nice and seared then we're going to transfer it over to a dish. So I'm going to put it in a secondary dish and we're going to then cook up the mushrooms we're going to re-add the chicken back to the, the skillet. We're going to put it inside the oven and bake it. And then we're going to take it out, remove the chicken, keep everything else inside. And then we're going to start making our um, cream sauce. So with that, we'll get started. And I'm going to uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm going to turn this just a little bit so you can see the pan a little bit better. But as you can see, my butter is now melted. So I've got the butter all nice and melted. It's, it's bringing it up to temperature. And we're gonna take our chicken out. And to start out with, we're gonna place its skin up. Oh, that sounds so good. And I'm washing my hands after I touch the chicken. So we've got that taken care of. Now our chicken's going to start cooking. And we don't have to cook it all the way through. We're just trying to get it nice and brown. So once that gets all nice and brown, we'll flip it over to the next side. And we're going to brown the other side, the skin side next. Then I'm going to remove the chicken from the pan. We're then going to brown up our mushrooms. And I've got some other spices we're going to add, and we're going to talk about that as we go. So, I'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, through the magic of television, we're back again. And as you can see, I've got my chicken inside here. It's doing really quite well. And I'm going to flip it over now. And like I said, what we're doing here is we are just browning it. So see how nice and brown that is. That piece needs to be on there a little bit longer like that. Okay, and when this gets all ready to go to, onto the reset side, I will uh, come back. Okay, folks, we're back. And I'm getting ready to take the chicken out so you can see how nice and browned up it is. So we got that skin all nice and brown. Oh, it's going to be delicious goodness.
we have that reserved off to the side. So, the next step of what our process is going to be is that we're going to add the mushrooms. And I bought pre-sliced mushrooms this time. They were on sale. I picked them up at Myers, like I go to a lot. And I'm going to turn my heat down just a little teeny bit. I did have it at a two on my on my uh, skillet here on top of the stove. And I'm turning it down to a uh, about a one and a half. So I'm going to just kind of like saute these up and we're going to make them all nice and browned up. And after this gets going really well, and we're going to add just a little bit more butter. We're going to add about another half a tablespoon of butter to this. And all these little brown tasty bits at the bottom, just kind of scrape them up. So that's all flavor. And that's the stuff we want. So, we're going to get that going. And we will be back again shortly. So, keep in tune as I'm going. And the next thing I'm going to do after these get going really well and get browned up, I'm going to add the garlic. Now, I don't want to add the garlic in right away. The reason is, is that garlic will burn very easily. So, we're going to... Once I get the mushrooms where they're browned up really quite nice, you get them nice and cooked up. We're then going to add our garlic. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. And um, we're going to add our garlic to this. And once we get our garlic inside, we're going to brown our garlic. Then once that's done, I'm going to add some white wine. Now, the wine I'm going to be using today is a Chardonnay. Um, any wine that you will drink is a good wine to use for cooking. I've said this before in my other shows, and I'll say it again, that any wine that you drink is a good wine for cooking. Um, I don't buy just cooking wines or cooking sherries. They taste terrible. I like to use what I would drink. So whatever it is I would drink, that's what I'm going to use when I go to do my cooking. So you can see these mushrooms are browning up really, really nicely. that look nice okay so we're gonna let them keep cooking for a little bit and um, shortly we're going to be putting in the garlic and adding that in so when we do I will be back okay folks we're back and we're ready now to add our garlic to the skillet so we've got our garlic here and we're going to use about a tablespoon of garlic so tablespoon of garlic and we're going to put in about a little bit over a half a teaspoon of dried mustard. We're going to add in some oregano, some dried oregano. I'm going to go with half a tablespoon of dried oregano. We're going to go with a half a tablespoon of basil. We're going to use some fresh cracked pepper, and that's going to be according to your taste. I like pepper, and I've got a friend coming over for dinner tonight, and I think she does too. So, next we're going to be browning up that garlic with all our spices in there. Once the garlic is browned up, I'm going to be adding some white wine. I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of white wine to the mixture. After that's done, we're then going to add our chicken back in. We're going to place our chicken in the oven and we're going to bake it at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Now, something I did during the, during the commercial break is I got some of my veggies together and I'm going to make roasted veggies to go with this. So in here, I do have some potatoes. i got red and white potatoes, the mini ones. I've got radishes and I've got carrots. And these are going to go in also. Now. I'm not going to add spices on top of these until they roast because they have a tendency to burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roast these. I'm then going to put them back in the bowl. We're going to add some more olive oil inside here. And then I'm going to add some basil and oregano to this. 
mix them all up nice and that and maybe just a little bit of salt so and that'll be what we'll have with along with our food so with that I take a sheet pan and I put it all on, onto the sheet pan and then the easiest thing to do is just kind of roll them around a little bit and get everything separated out and that's going to go in the same time and the beauty about this part of the recipe is that those veggies are going to cook for the same amount of time as our chicken is. So we're going to put them on the top rack, but they will they will be all nice and done when everything else is done. So now, glug, 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 quarter cup of white wine. Like I say, this is a Chardonnay. And the nice thing about this, it also deglazes the pan. Now the deglazing of the pan, remember I talked about all those little tasty bits? Well, that gets all those little tasty bits up and moving, and oh, oh, just, just wonderful. Okay, now we're going to take our chicken, and we're going to add that back inside of our pan. And this is a very simple, fast recipe. Does not take a whole lot of prep work, especially when I bought the mushrooms already sliced. Normally, I get them, and I slice them myself. And see that juice in there? We're just gonna pour that right in there also. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. This is gonna be such a good dish. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this inside the oven. So I'm gonna place it at the bottom, and I'm gonna place our veggies to be roasted up on the top. And that's gonna go on our oven. We're gonna set our timer for 25 minutes. And in 25 minutes, I'll be back. Because I won't be leaving there until probably, it'll probably be at least 1230 probably. I have to go. That means we won't get back to Muskegon until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Because I have to go to this church, my boss's church out in Lowell. That's who we met with several weeks ago. Okay. And then the, the pastor wants us to come in and meet with the leadership team. Okay. And my boss has... He thought he had an event the 14th. Yes, please. But um, it's now, but it is on the 7th. He double booked himself, so he asked me if I would go do it. Mm. Well. I can't say no to boss. No, I understand. Well, let me find out for sure. He and I are going to conference call him tomorrow. If you have to, you have to. And if you yeah. don't, you don't. Well, I but have to go. I just have to figure out what time. Well, there's two more weeks after that of doing it, too. So, if you can't make it this weekend, we'll do it the following weekend. Um, and that's the weekend we're going to be we're taking off. off anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's whatever works for you works for me. Hillary, I think is she's excited to meet you, Ooh. by the way. And um, I think she's going to make it this coming. That's the Moscato. Um, I get that at um, Aldi's. Oh, I love Aldi's. How much do you think I pay a bottle? Five bucks. No, it's like less than three. It's like two something a bottle. Seriously? Yes. I, I love all these. You know, I'm not a super cheapskate, but I like saving money on mundane things because then I can this spend money good. on other things. And it's actually, a, they have good wines. Mm -hmm. well, look at my closet. I got a whole closet full of it. It cost me 35 bucks for a whole closet full of wine. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was like, you got to be kidding me. When I walked in there and saw the prices and everything, I'm like, you're no way. There's no way it's that cheap. And it is. Did you see that they have a rosé? that won international awards because Aldi is actually a German company, you yeah. know? Because mm -hmm. Trader Joe's, you know, that kind of stuff, sister company at Trader Joe's. And Well, I didn't know that. That I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've never been to Trader Joe's. I'd like to go, but I've never been to one. The one in Grand Rapids, we really, it would be really fun to go, like... It's better than nothing for me. I know you said it's small compared to the normal ones, but... But you can, per their policy, ask them to open anything in the store for you to try. Really? Like, let's say it was some olives or, you know, whatever. Yeah, they'll open up anything. If you'd like chips, if there were some chips that you wanted to huh. try, or That's... olives or whatever for cooking cheese, you know. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, hold on, because i gotta, I got to do this. Okay, folks, we're back, and I'm getting ready to take the chicken out of the oven. So we're going to take the chicken and the potatoes out of the oven. Oh, if you could just smell how good this smells. Oh my, I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful that's looking. And 
we have our roasted vegetables. So our roasted vegetables are looking really, really good. So we're gonna be putting those inside of a um, bowl and I'm gonna transfer the chicken now over to a platter. So we'll put this all onto the platter and look at all that beautiful stuff down there. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look just delicious? And so what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna make our sauce. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some fresh cracked pepper. And I like pepper, so we're going to be doing that. And I made a lot because I've got a friend over tonight and she loves it too. So we've got a quarter cup of cream going in there. And I'm gonna tell you the secret to doing this. In order to keep this cream and the butter from separating, because that's what will happen once I add heat sometimes, we stir and whisk this up first. So once this is all nice and whisked up, then I'm going to add my heat back up to it. We're going to reduce it down, and we're going to have a nice sauce. So with that, I'm also going to add in a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. So we've got that in there, and now it's ready to turn the, so the heat back on. So we're going to turn the heat back on, and we're going to reduce this down. And this is going to make a really, really nice sauce. So, in the meantime, while I'm doing this, because this is going to take me a good five minutes or so to get this done, so you're not sitting here watching me just stir this, I'm going to turn the camera off, and we'll come back, and we'll see what is the finished product. Okay, we've got this up to going really quite nice, and you can see that it's thickening up really, really well. So doesn't that just look delicious? Oh, if you could just smell what I'm smelling... Just smells just wonderful, just wonderful. So we're gonna turn our heat off. We got our heat off. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to plate this. So, getting our plate out, we're gonna add two pieces of the uh, chicken thighs. So we got those. And then we're going to add our sauce over top. And then I need to pull my uh, roasted vegetables out of the oven. Because those are all finished now. And we're going to add these into the, the bowl again. And like I said, I've got um, olive oil and a little bit of butter I put in there. To just kind of finish them off. Oh, these just smell so wonderful. This is going to be a really, really good meal. So we've got those in there. Let me grab a cooking spoon here real quick. I know I'm off camera so you can't really hear me or see what I'm doing so much when it comes to that. As I get going, I'll try to get better and maybe I'll get multiple cameras going so that we can edit it and make it just a little bit better. So with that, I do have some of the veggies here and we're going to plate this. And we're going to use a little bit of kosher salt over top to finish everything up. And voila, that is our meal. So stay tuned. Remember, go to my uh, webpage, www.eatlocalpaleo.com. I've got more content on there. Soon to be coming, we're going to have cookbooks available where you can download for PDF files. We're going to have DVD sets at the end of the year. We're going to have blooper sets showing you the bloopers and the mistakes I make because... Lord knows I make a lot of them. So stay tuned and see you soon.